Okay. Okay, today is the 7th April 2021 and this is today is the first online class on the general electronics course. So the following topics in the AC circuit analysis uh, are left uh, which needs to be discussed today uh, the 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 three or four topics are there the first topic we have still the the rlc parallel circuits we were stuck in the last uh, lecture uh, due to some issue of the technical formula relationship uh, so i will doing that again and then we will be having the RC differentiator. And integrator. RC circuit as a differentiator and, and as an integrator. The third was the, the complex algebra. or AC circuits. We'll be doing some uh, uh, the topics related to that, how we manage the circuit analysis, AC circuit analysis uh, through complex uh, algebra. So for AC circuits, that will be done, okay? All right, so the RLC parallel circuit, let me take on the topic First topic, we will say the RLC parallel circuits. Okay, uh, one thing uh, you should note down that before I move, we move that far. The last time, what we did that the issue was there regarding the uh, relationship for the current divider. Let me first the, the note down the rule for the current divider. I will first do that uh, the formulation for the rule divider to the conductance. We did that. Uh, let me do first the, the current divider first. Current divider, normal relation, normal formula is that if we have a circuit consisting of two resistors, suppose we have in this case the AC or DC whichever you, you can take R1 and R2 are two resistors and the current total current uh, input current, or uh, you can say input current is I n, and the branch currents are I one and I two. Then the relation for this that the any branch current, suppose I one, that was given by the I total divided by the uh, R one. Uh, sorry, I input divided by the R1 into R total. This was the relationship which we were using for the current divider when we use the R1, R2 as a resistances. Okay, so uh, now if we take, and we, I have given you the detail, uh, the how relationship, how we develop this uh, formula uh, in the previous, as well as I think we start off this uh, the, when we were doing these RC circuit or series parallel circuits in DC circuits. So the we have discussed that from over there as well. So uh, for for the conductance, if we consider R1 as a G1, which is equal to one over R1, and R2 as a G2, which is a conductance G G for the conductance, which is one over R2. So what we have, if we take the, we can call it the, uh, the voltage 
across all these, if this is the V input or Vz, we can call it Vz, which we, in this case, in AC case, we call it Iz, okay? Uh, in this case, we considering that. And these R1 are replaced by one over R1 and one over R2. Then Vz, we call it as a Iz, Vz is equal to Iz into Z. Normal, uh, the Ohm's law say that, V is equal to I R. But since we are taking Z to be as a G, instead of uh, uh, representing as, in the, uh, rather representing as a G Z, where G Z is equal to one over Z. So here, what it will take the form that I Z divided by G Z in, in terms of conductors. So, just uh, replacing the that is the z is equal to one over gz okay somebody is joining online class no class no all classes when he well anyway good all right so uh, let me push that I have uh, kept this screen bigger so that you can see that. Okay, so the Vz is equal to, uh, it is the total voltage. The voltage total across the, all the, uh, obviously in parallel resistors are the same. So Vz, which is equal to V1 is equal to V2 in parallel, obviously we know that. So uh, similarly, we can have the, uh, in this case, now the current example is that will be equal to I1 through that resistor because the will be equal to the G1 divided by GZ or G total, whatever you call it, GZ or G total absolute value we take into I total or I input, I total or I input or uh, input input will basically so this relationship will be used instead of the other one which was the obviously the like a little bit use it okay so this one uh, if you see if you take a graph so you have a total current input current so we divide karte r1 pe lekin jab conductors ki form bhi lete hain so in the conductors um, uh, the if the resistors are represented in the form of the conductances then we will take the current divided formula just like the voltage divided formula in which we have the whatever the resistance in this case is the conductance g1 r1 divided by the r total into we in that case it was v v v input but in this case we will be having the current divided current will be equal to the the respective conductance in which we are intending to find the current and divide by the net gz total uh, conductance of the circuit into the i total r i input so this was the issue which were uh, we are having last time now let's now solve the rlc Circuit. Okay, so far I would like to take your response uh, about the this uh, the class, whatever the, the, the display of the board and the writing uh, is everything okay? Awas very clear hai or writing or graph on other area which fast or slow hole mujhe bataye. We might take on kar sakte hai. Bol sakte hai. Is everything is clear? Mujhe text mein bata dein. Thik hai, text karke bata dein. Abhi maine normal screen laya hu, taake maine aapka response dekh sakoon. Yes, sir, aray. Okay. Yes, oh, sir. bhi clear hai. Shahid, uh, koon bol raha hai? Yes, sir, thik hai, aray, awaz saaf hai. Awaz bhi saaf hai, aur wo uh, nazar aray screen sahi hai, clear hai? Writing wakala saar hai, clear hai? Writing. Board writing. Clear hai. Clear? Hai? Okay, okay. Chale, thank you, thank you. 
ये ना हो कि मैं इधर लिखता रहूं और आप लोगों को वहां पे ऑफलाइन जो है ना कुछ भी नजर ना आए ओके नहीं सर क्लियर लेकिन आई थिंक नेटवर्क का मसला है अच्छा चले वो रिकॉर्डिंग ये मैं कर रहा हूं साथ साथ रिकॉर्डिंग ये तो आपको फिर शेयर कर लेंगे ये आप वीडियो आराम से आप फिर देख सकते हैं लेटर ऑन की ठीक है रिकॉर्डिंग इसकी हो रही है ठीक ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके नाउ लेट्स डू दैट द आरएलसी फेलो सर्किट व्हिच वी ओवर द लास्ट टाइम वी स्टक इन इट इट वाज आरएल सीरीज एज वेल एज वी हैव डन दैट uh in series or as a series there was a circuit what we saw that it was used as an acceptor circuit and it a, a bell shape curve was obtained uh between the frequency and the uh, voltage gain or the current gain voltage gain rather than that is okay darmiyan darmiyan mein main allow bhi karta jaunga jo jo bhi saath aa rahe hain Okay, let me now push the screen a little bit up. Or we okay. Now we again do that RLC parallel circuit. obviously in rlc parallel circuit we have rl the all these uh, four components in parallel inductor capacitor and sorry uh, and a resistor this is r this is c this is l and they are connected in parallel uh here we have the xl inductor reactance here we have the xc the capacitor reactance so the the current which we will be having in this case since we don't deal with the voltages because voltage is all the same we uh, the process the circuit on the basis of the currents so it will be having the currents i z is the main total current which is the uh, we can say the total circuit impedance uh, all the impedances we, we take into account then we have the il the current through the inductor branch we have ic the current through the capacitor branch and the ir which is the current through the resistor branch so here what we apply is the iz which is the total current is sum of the ir
ओके सॉरी फॉर डिले मैं दोबारा चेक कर रहा हूँ मैंने असल मेरे सिस्टम में इशू है वो बंद हो गया शट डाउन हो गया उसको कोई बैटरी का इशू है काइंडली मुझे एक्नॉलेज करें कि अभी मेरी आवाज वगैरह क्लियर है जिससे जिससे नेटवर्क को मैंने कनेक्ट किया थी यस सर आवाज ठीक है सॉरी फॉर डिले यू असल में दरमियान में मैंने दोनों बैकअप में बनाया वो तो लैपटॉप ये भी है चले ही स्टार्ट हियर वी लेफ्ट ही ओके ये ये दूसरा लैपटॉप है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अगेन रिकॉर्डिंग लेट मी चेक रिकॉर्डिंग तो हो रही है बंद नहीं है ओके रिकॉर्डिंग है ओके गोइंग ऑन अच्छा मैं अभी प्रेजेंट करता हूं प्रेजेंटेशन आपको ओके ओके आई होप एवरीबॉडी नाउ कैन सी द स्क्रीन एज वेल अभी मैं लाता हूं ये ये हमारा नेम बोर्ड आ गया ठीक है प्रेजेंटेशन दरमियान में कोई इशू आपकी फील हो मेरी तरफ से तो काइंडली मुझे बिल्कुल माइक ऑन करके बोल सकते हैं डू एवर सो लेट मी राइट अगेन बिकॉज ये दूसरा लैपटॉप है मैंने दूसरा लैपटॉप ऑन किया सर यूर वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर कंटिन्यूसली हेलो अभी सही है नो सर हेलो क्लियर नहीं है सर हेलो हाँ ठहर है मैं देखता हूँ चेक कर चेक कर आवाज ज्यादा करता हूँ एक मिनट है एक मिनट में माइक चेंज करता हूँ हेलो हाँ अभी कैसी आवाज आ रही आवाज क्लियर है सर अभी क्लियर है क्लियर है ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू बहुत शुक्रिया ठीक है ओके लेट्स गो टू द बोर्ड नाउ इरेज दिंग्स so let me rewrite again r l c l c x we draw okay so this i have to the law okay that is the input okay let me draw it clearly and there is a source so i need to do that here yeah. okay this is inductor and this is the capacitor and last one is the resistor so that is the 
r is to is equal to this to this is inductor this inductor reactance xl xc is the first reactance and we now have the iz the total current the branch currents are il ic and the ir so total iz is equal to the sum of the currents along with the plus the complex part of the j ic minus I L. Okay. Here the current leads the voltage by 90 degree in the case of the capacitor, and the current lags behind the voltage in case of the inductor. Okay. So while the we can now represent the G Z instead of Z, we represent the G Z, which is the the net admittance the conductance conductance or uh, in uh, the complex conductance which is the sum of the gr which is the resistive conductance and the express uh, in, in terms of the resistance plus j jc uh, g p minus g l okay so that will be the part for the net uh, gz complex conductor if you take the absolute value you will be having gr square plus gc minus gl whole square whole square under the root right so the we are now interested in the branch current if you like that excuse me sir gg please sir in square root mein g r minus g l whole square yeh negative nahi hooga yaha pe yes sir g r square minus aega yeh yes sir yes sir yes sir no, no, this is the complex algebra which we have started in the start. Whenever you have a complex number, z is equal to a plus, if you have iota b, then the absolute value is a square plus b square under the root of that. We are not doing a plus i b into a plus i b. This is the absolute value, absolute magnitude of this complex, the square of their ये ये कोफिशिएंट्स है ये कॉम्प्लेक्स कोफिशिएंट का स्क्वायर और ये रियल पार्ट का स्क्वायर है इसके बराबर होता है द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द सम ऑफ दीस टू मेंबर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप ठीक है यस सर यस सर समझ हां ये ठीक है ना ये अब इसको चेक कर लीजिए सो इसमें सिनेरियोस हमारे पास व्हाट वी विल बी हैविंग एट रेजोनेंस व्हाट वी हैव एक्स एल इज इक्वल टू एक्स सी ये तो अब आपको पता है कि एट रेजोनेंस सो वी विल बी लुकिंग राधर हियर एक मिनट थोड़ा सा मैं इसको ठीक करता हूँ ठीक है आपको इस सबसे पूरी शेप करता हूँ कि व्हाट वी बी डूइंग दैट लेट मी जस्ट रेड दिस इंडस्ट्रीन मैं यहाँ पे फोर इरेस कर रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ पे पूरा टैंक इनका दो ब्रा दोनों का एलसी टैंक से कर दूँगा हूँ तो ये अच्छी वी ड्रॉ सो एक ही चीज़ है ठीक है so we will be interested in the current in the uh, the total parallel branch of these two l and c okay which we call it i l c 
so that because the resonance takes place uh, when xl is equal to xc so both the branches are involved in it so we will take the collective branch current which is coming out from the net effect of the both l and c xc and xl okay so ilc which is the current instead of uh, taking internal of is the il and ic will be going through so we will be looking for the branch current ilc over here so the that means the we are interested to find the ilc here the branch current which will be equal to obviously what glc that is the net conductance of the both the branches divided by the gz absolute value into iz right according to our this formula which we have uh, just uh, uh, at the start of the topic we discuss so this is the since we are now total conductance net conductance of these two divided by the total conductance uh, the impedance the the conductive conductance yeah, of the total complex conductance we call it the which we call it admittance net admittance of the whole circuit including r as well so that will be so in this case when we take the i l c divided by i z what it will give you the current gain a i right but this is a i which is due to the l c tank circuit so that will be equal to glc so glc uh, obviously we will taking the absolute value here as well so we can see that glc which is the gc minus gl gl this is gl sorry this is gl this is the glc divided by the gz which is gr square uh, plus gc minus gl whole square whole square all under the root okay let me correct that one gl Let me push the screen a little bit up. Okay. So let me get rid that one. Reward there to us. Okay. All right. So a a i a i is equal to now g c minus g l whole divided by we can take now g c minus g l common square of the this g c minus g l whole square common the out of the this whole under root what we'll get we will get one plus g r square g r divided by g c minus g l whole square okay we divide this both uh, terms by the g c minus g l whole square when taking the g c minus g l whole square uh, common both and then taking it out of the square root which is gl so this will cancel out so we are now left with the final uh, relation this is the final relation one plus the now converting back the g r is equal to one over r and g c is equal to uh, one over 
gc is 1 over omega c gc is 1 over xc actually this is gc remember and uh, so gc will be equal to omega c because the xc is equal to 1 over omega c remember that putting the xc value here so gc is equal to omega c while gl is equal to 1 over xl xl and uh, which is equal to 1 over omega l gl will be equal to this so we will be having omega c minus 1 over omega l whole square obviously this term will define now the the uh, the uh, graph or the curve and the between the frequency and the current gain let me push this a bit up have more space okay so now for omega tends to zero what we get a i will be equal to that means uh, this is zero one over zero is infinity one over infinity is one over infinity is zero so this is one so a i is equal to one now when omega tends to infinity again this is infinity 1 over infinity is 0 again a i is equal to 1 but when x l is equal to x c in this case both are the same so this is 0 okay you can see that if you take the other way around and we can express them in terms of the xl xc as well so that will be equal to 1 over 0 is infinity whole thing is infinity 1 over infinity is 0 so a i is equal to 0 so what we have now finally the graph between the uh, frequency or linear frequency or angular frequency you can call it and the current gain but remember this is the LC tank circuit, the current which is passing, coming out from the, the both tank is like this. That is for the smaller frequencies, for the smaller frequencies, here you can see the gain is maximum, gain is maximum. But as the both, both the reactances, XL and XC, are approaching towards each other to the equality then what we say that at resonance we call it this is the resonant frequency the i uh, the other the gain rather you call it the current gain a a i is equal to zero so what it shows it shows is a act like a rejector circuit rejector circuit okay so when RLC uh, parallel circuit uh, is uh, applied or is it, and the AC signal is applied we, we can use it uh, that as a rejector circuit it will reject the range of frequencies here here the at resonance okay we, if you don't want any certain Particular frequencies we want to block it then we can use the RLC as a parallel circuit so uh, but remember one thing that this current should be coming from the tank circuit both so I will give you a very interesting let's see what you can find uh, as an assignment that find the current and then let me put it back draw the response instead of the uh, the here ilc this is the obviously we mentioned over here find the response for the ir that is the ir over iz 
which is a i which will be because of the the uh, current gain which is due to the total current i z and i r what will be the response that is the uh, that is the between the frequency and the a i in this case of r okay so ye curve aap ne ye pehle equation aap isi tarike se dikha le is gain dekhe main hint de raha hu aapko ki ye humne kya kiya ki agar humne iska glc jisko kehte hain humne maloom kiya to glc ke ek cross humne kiya to glc ki net humne isko divide kiya gz ke upar obviously is case mein kya karenge aap r ke थ्रू ब्रांच में हम देखने का तो आर को डिवाइड करेंगे आप इस टोटल जो यानी आर मींस जी आर इसमें हम आप सॉरी देंगे जी आर ओके जी आर लेंगे जी आर को डिवाइड करेंगे टोटल जी जेड के ऊपर सो देखिए क्या इंटरेस्टिंग रिजल्ट आता है वो मुझे आप फिर बताइएगा कल आई विल आस्क फ्रॉम यू ओके ट्राई डेट वन टू इम्प्रूव योर स्किल्स राइट so uh, with this this topic is completed uh, now if you have any question i will wait for a while and uh, to start the next topic uh, the differentiator and integrator uh, we will discuss the any question you have got kisi ke zehn mein question hai to pooch sakte hain mic on karke let me check the see root in the denominator acha main dekh lu chat group mein kya aapne likha hai ओके 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 थैंक यू ये तो मैं क्लास में भी कभी कभी ऑब्वियसली रूट इन द डिनोमिनेटर मिस कर लूं आई विल ब्रिंग दैट करेक्शन और ये जो पोस्ट था ये यस थैंक यू ये जो मैं ये वो बात थी one by thanks for the correction yes dear thank you thank you very much okay okay thank you uh, i hope that it is uh, clear now let's go to the next topic which is the uh, rc ye aapke course ke mutabik syllabus mein jo topics hain hum we are going along with the course so to jo rc differentiator rc se pehle the differentiator and integrator अभी हो सकता है। I should open I think new slide। इसको मैं सेव कर लेता हूँ। ठीक है। इसको मैं कर लेता हूँ। R L C कर लेता हूँ। ये हाथ में हुआ है। पेन है, राय डिजिटल पेन है तो उसे तो Okay, now the differentiate differentiating circuit. Differentiating circuit. Thank you, sir. So RC circuit, RC series circuit, RC series. We are using the RC series circuit as a differentiating circuit. Means it will apply the operation of the differentiation, that is the derivative, the whatever the signal is fed at the input. It will uh, uh, the differentiate, differentiate the differential operator will be applied uh, with the this uh, circuit. So let's now take the this source. We have. Yeah. Yeah, this term. Ah, not good. Let me write it again. Thank you. Again. 
will get used to it and get to see it properly now we don't okay so what we have we have an IC source then we have uh, the capacitor and a resistor R and C which is obviously XC and this is R the output is taken across this R we are okay uh, we have done that as a low pass filter and high pass filter as well this is very uh, important uh, the circuitry so let's see now we this is the V input or V in we call it we will take the absolute value that is the input and out, out because it's a complex circuit AC circuit so over there the absolute value will be taken so again the same uh, relationship we apply we take the output voltage class which is R is equal to the uh, this is a voltage divider you can see the voltages will be V R and V uh, we see so divided voltage which is the uh, obviously uh, output we would like to take into it now what's the formula of electricity uh, maker chicken it will be equal to the for the resistor in terms of resistances r divided by the z absolute value into the input now so here what we see that the V that output Vm across whatever we take the net Vz Vz here in this case Vz will be equal to Vm sine of omega t plus 90 degree it is sine of Omega T Omega T plus 90 degree. Okay. How that we we are taking these output voltage. So the output voltage here, whatever we are getting, it will be out of phase. And the voltage across the resistor is out of phase by 90 degree with respect to the current and it is leading one thing you should know if we take the voltage across the here of course the voltage is lagging by 90 degree that is clear I think okay this is a very uh, critical point this you have to understand when we take the output voltage across R okay so input voltage will be processed over here and obviously that after the the whatever the phase relationship we will get over here it will be out of phase by 90 degree uh, the net we call the uh, uh, resultant uh, the phase which is phase is voltage phase across uh, in this case when we, it is connected in RCC circuit will be Reading. If this is obviously lagging, this will be leading. We uh, understood that you suppose we up to zero here, suppose I'm just saying that we are here or we are sorry, we are not we see here. Okay, we 90 degree here. So, if we minus 90 we are here, the voltage is lagging. So, this means that we this reference is which is zero length, we plus 90 we are. Okay. This reference have later here, it is a leading in this case. Voltage across R. So now we take put the value R divided by is Z is equal to R absolute value we take. We have done that multiple times. R square plus XC square under the root. Putting the values which is equal to R square. 
plus x c square under the uh, re output which is the value again which is equal to r we got it by taking r common r square common inside what we left again 1 plus xc divided by r whole square and this guy again in the root this is the relationship we r r cancel out we are left with the 1 over r 1 over 1 plus 1 over putting the value of xc r omega c whole square under the root And obviously, it will be V and cos theta. V and omega t, rather. V and omega t. Here, this term is also there with that. Okay. And V and cosine of omega t. Let's push this board up. Okay, so now simplifying further this V output, we will see what happens to the output, which uh, will be equal to R omega C divided by this is plus uh, 1 plus R square omega square C square under the root into V L cosine of omega t. Now considering considering that if the r omega r omega c is far 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 less than one okay because the, the, the reactance of this omega c is there and the product of all these three give you very very smaller value what we'll get that is negligible that is r omega c almost equal to zero so v output is equal to r omega c v n plus sine of omega R, we can write it as the R C R C into Omega V M sine of Omega T. Our V output of this is the uh, value. We can write it R C into D by D T of V input. This is V input is equal to V M sine of omega T. Actual signal. If we take the differential of this uh, V input V by D T, we will get this uh, term. This term. Okay. V M uh, omega times cosine of omega T. So that equation shows that. RC obviously is a constant. We don't explain uh, that one. So that the it is a differentiating circuit. Whatever input is fed, it differentiates that input signal. Okay, so it's, that's why it is called a the differentiating circuit. RC circuit when the output is taken, obviously when output is taken across R only. It will be termed as it will work or it will work as it will work as the yeah, RC. It will be yeah, R C circuit will work as as differentiating differentiator yeah, 
Right? That is the differentiating circuit. Okay, one example uh, I will share with you the its details in the document, but the example is if input is given as a sphere wave, okay, if the input, if, if an input signal, input sphere wave, sphere wave is called pulse as well, sphere wave is fed, then the following, following the uh, function, if shaping the is the market, will be okay. If there is a square wave, obviously square wave has following. Then, then the output, this is the input, the input. Okay. Then the RC circuit, RC circuit, the output what you will have it will be obviously plus minus you can call it zero that's the plus five this is minus five then it's called the spikes spikes signals are this is a differentiating uh, nature of that this is a spike signal called the spike signal I will share the document all the details. This is a charge that has to do with the the the, the very fast changing. You can see quick uh, reaching to the uh, maximum value and then to the negative value. The uh, that charging and discharging of the capacitor basically quick charge and then discharge, and then negatively quick charge and then discharge. The express this is causing the obviously the differentiating function. Of the RC circuit, okay. So that will be completes the this topic, this one, this particular topic. All right? Okay. Let me now let me see the. Okay. Go slow. Hai. Aapki awaaz slow hai. Mujhe saath aap mic on karke bol diya kare na. If there is uh, any problem. Haji. Yeah, how many participants they have got? 23. Okay, uh, we response uh, uh, is that topic of this further for study current as well. Share the longer is the document we have uh, like in main basically mathematical Jewish me your steps and who only is this study as well. Is there any problem in this subject or in this topic? Respond then, please. Okay, all right, all right, thank you. Then I think I'm with your response to put a leg in a way. Borrow where I'll be up to the Kelly Lago. The Sasa Tabs, oh, yeah, and I think you saw me cut there. Uh, what do you think? Uh, time uh, we have under the net have was in Okay, uh, I will continue with this in the same page. Now, the integrating circuit. Now, the next one is the integrating circuit. Integrating circuit. The same RC circuit will be used. RC circuit. And then integrating circuit. Okay. So here we we draw again 
the RC circuit. This time R is this side. It can still be. It doesn't make any difference whether we could take the capacitor here here or just the by convention we are using normally whatever out we take on the right side. So we take that circuit. This is a XC or C capacitor. V output is taken over here. V input is over here. So uh, again now V input is obviously the sinusoidal function which is V naught or V M sine of omega T omega T. V naught when you speak of the V V naught output is Okay, so V output absolute value we take is given by the this time the XC we got now the reactance is XC divided by Z absolute value. We are obviously Z is equal to R square plus XC square under the root. So putting that values into V input obviously V input but V input which is uh, after the whole process that is the, uh, done result next uh, with the both R and XC so let's see now the XC putting the values divided by R square plus XC square under the root. Now, in this case, we have V m sine of omega t minus 90 degree, right? Just like we did before, this is now voltage is lagging behind the current by 90 degree. So, we will be taking the phase relationship of the input here when it reaches over here. So, whatever the status of the phase will be, will be uh, mentioning that one, we're putting that into it. So that is here. We okay. So we push that bit board. Okay. So the what we have the output whether we take the XC divided by XC taking common inside what we have 1 plus r divided by xc whole square into vn minus cosine of omega t the minus sign we will take here sign will be converted into cosine and the minus sign will be there xc xc is cancel out so we are left with the uh, minus V M cosine of omega T four divided by the one yeah, okay is that okay the okay, one plus of oh, right. R square Now let's take the R as well. We take the R common as well. Taking the R common from this relation, what we get? Now let me take that one. Okay, I'm just going to focus on this. This is from the right of the paper. Then if you are right, that is the or. R square plus one over omega square T square. Okay. So XC how many common layer? Yeah. R omega C. Okay. Right. So we are left with here. Okay. So let's see. Let's go on. Uh, right. We can take it with that one. A now this is relation from the pen. See the bottom of the The 
this case we have the one plus over here one plus r omega c over here okay that's right now we are supposing let us suppose here suppose that if r omega c whole square is very far far greater than one in this case okay if r omega c is far far greater than one then what we will have we will have e v n minus v m is sine of omega c divided by r omega c so that one will be negligible so i mean if it is in uh, that's a thousand and one is just a fractional part of it so what we have now the v output output value is given by one over of c we are in the terms here uh, into minus v n so sine of omega t whole divided by omega. Just we have rearranged the thing together. So what we have one over R C is zero to T P M to which side can we can take sine of omega T D T. So which is the input V and sine of omega t, one over R C, zero to t, or V into d t. So what it says that now, this circuit x, the R C, the R C circuit x as a R C series circuit. as an integrator is it integrates the input signal okay so as an integrator or provided that the output is taken across C so that shows that the RC circuit can be used as a differentiator and integrator both. Now similarly, uh, we can have the example if we have the input and square wave. And the input to the RC circuit, obviously, to RC circuit. The output will be will be RC. In this case, what we will get is okay. the rampages. This is the actual. These are actually the, the ramp voltage are uh, triangular. Uh, you can say this. This is the actual output. Will be ramp signal. Signal R. Uh, Triangular wave function. So the integration uh, it also uh, involves the process. Whatever the process, I will share the document uh, with uh, in the third case with you uh, that all the process is charging and discharging and is involved in uh, the integration and the transmission code. But in integration, the ramp signal is uh, absorbed at the Okay, with this we conclude today's uh, topics. Uh, we have gone through the RLC federal circuit, regular circuit, and RRC as a differentiating and integrating circuits. Uh, I think uh, that is enough for today. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will try to conclude the, these uh, AC circuit analysis and the next week inshallah we will start the semiconductors. Uh, tomorrow we will try, uh, we will just make it a little bit extra time but we will try to 
Thank you. Uh, okay, let me count it off. Okay, how many people I call it uh, people left? Twenty left. All right. Maybe some network issues will be there. All right. Uh, uh, everybody got that lecture, I think. So uh, it's a first attempt on the digital board. I hope you like it. Instead of writing on the the wall board, I will put this camera up in other eye and eye. This board is clear. So I have made a digital board recently. I have ordered it online from Mumbai by Singapore. So that will help you a lot for you people so that I can, we can facilitate as much as we can. Uh, any feedback from you? Anybody want to talk? Which discuss karna chahte hain karle? Kamal ek minute hum. Discussion कर लेते हैं। शहीद, आ रही थी यार। शहीदुल्लाह है? No sir, नहीं है वो। अच्छा, और आप वैसे कोई बात करना चाहें बात कर लें। कोई इशू है, कोई बताएं, कोई आपके सजेशंस हों, so that we can obviously incorporate थी। Sir, ये integrating circuit में हमने ये जो VM की value ली थी, VM की। जी जी। VM तो इसमें तो इसमें हमने सर ये 90 नेगेटिव दिया है और पहले वाले में हमने पॉजिटिव दिया हाँ 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 बिल्कुल बिल्कुल और मैं बता दूँ ओली जी हाँ लैग और वो ही है ना लैग सर जी एक मिनट ये वाले ठीक है ना या इसमें कैपेसिटर में हमेशा वोल्टेज लैग बिहाइंड करती है ठीक है ना कैपेसिटर में व्हाट हैपन Voltage lags behind the current while 19. ये हमने standard rule में हमने define किए थे। तो जो भी output आप इधर लेंगे, यहाँ पे जो voltage है, वो lag कर रही होगी while 90 degree. Resistor में अगर आप देखेंगे, resistor में normally होती zero है, ठीक है ना? अगर आप current इसका अपना current देखें, अगर यानी normal जो एक resistor लेते हैं, input जो है इसका current और लेकिन इसका अपना reference, ठीक है ना? अपना reference जो है ना current और voltage के दरमियान zero ह Voltage of this voltage across V R with respect to the this capacitor. ठीक है ना capacitor के हिसाब से हम देखा जाए तो ये voltage क्या कर रही होती है lead कर अगर ये lag मतलब lag कर रही है minus ninety पे जा रहा है zero से minus ninety तो आप minus ninety से आप क्या करते हैं वो वापस जाते हैं ऊपर positive की तरफ जाते हैं ठीक है ना यानी minus ninety minus eighty minus seventy आते हैं तो you are coming towards zero zero पे आते हैं so you go all the way plus 90 minus 90 में जब आप plus 90 add करते हैं तो आप zero पे पहुंचते हैं समझ आ रही है ना yes sir वो compensate करते हैं इसे compensate करते हैं तो यहाँ पे हम इसको देते हैं omega t plus 90 हम लेते हैं ठीक है ना omega t plus 90 जो मतलब है कि total net effect हम देखते हैं अगर आप reference के साथ yes sir समझ आ गई thank you sir thank you sir anyone else कोई और बोले ना भाई यहाँ तो लगता है बिल्क शेयर एक हमोशन है वो बोल नहीं रहा थे। Anybody wants to talk? Okay then I think that is enough for today. इंशाल्लाह tomorrow we will meet again. Timing ये सही है ten thirty आप लोगों के लिए कोई और दूसरी क्लास होनी होती है। Okay thank you thank you इजाज इस टाइम टाइमिंग इस आई थिंक ओके और मेरी अपनी क्लास की टाइमिंग है तो ओके थैंक यू मोइज़ा लेट मी चेक तो मैसेजेस ऑल राइट टाइम इस ओके है मेरे ख्याल में सही है ये टाइम सही है मेरा अपना टाइम है तो इसमें अगर कोई दूसरा भी क्लास लेता है तो कोई ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं होती है किसी को इन केस कोई ऐसी मीटिंग होती है हमारी तो वो आई विल इंटीमेट अगर वो तो फिर हम इस कारण शिफ्ट कर लेंगे आगे पीछे इवनिंग में यानी लेट आवर्स में या असर के बाद असर के बाद या असर के पहले यानी हम वो तो एडजस्ट कर लेंगे ओके देन आई थिंक थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस टुडेस क्लास सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम इन शाह गुड बाय